I think Her Majesty, uh, Her, Ma Her Majesty was, was really unique. And uh, her life was unique amongst monarchs. Uh, there are many kings and queens who have been the great. In fact, I think if you look it up on the internet, you'll find there's a, 111 of them, including the likes of uh, Genghis Khan or Herod the Great or Louis XIV, the um, Sun King, whose, whose reign actually sowed many seeds for the French Re Revolution. I think the mark of Her Majesty is the, what we've seen this last week so many times, that pledge which she made when she was 21, that which she would dedicate her entire life uh, to serving the nation. And again at her coronation, when, when she made the same promise to, to God. And she fulfilled that. I mean, it was quite remarkable. I mean, I... One can't think of any other human being who has led such a life of faithfulness. Now, f when you ask people, uh, you know, is Elizabeth the Great? Or, you know, is, the, is the, the word that describes her faithful? The answer nearly always comes back as faithful, because that is what she, she was until the, the day she died. And it's just quite remarkable that two days b before she died, there she was, little old lady with a cardigan on, leaning on a stick, obviously very ill, dying, in fact, but still continuing her service and her duty in, in passing the power to Liz Truss. I mean, quite remarkable. She was completely faithful all of her life. And that is how she should be remembered. Because for centuries to come, people will look back and say, well, why? Why are we calling her Elizabeth the Faithful? And they will look at her life and understand mm. why.